and Clough's Derby County. Both sides come to the game worried by injuries, particularly Chelsea, who have no fewer than seven of their first-team squad to go on the under-23 tour last summer. For Chelsea, of course, it's Alan Hudson, and for Derby County, their fine defender, Colin Todd. But Derby County also come without two excellent players in David Nish and Archie Gemmell. And they now bring back striker John O'Hare into a midfield position with Roger Davis getting... But now Davis. And while well, they went and waited who's the throw it was, O'Hare goes through and a rip deflection there. Unluckily for Chelsea going Derby's way. Davis took it and the situation was always going away from Chelsea and towards O'Hare and Derby. So there's the score then, Derby County leading by a good header away by Webster and then Hennessy and he's claiming first of all that Harris kicked him... Well, those bleeding rather proficiently there as Jimmy Gordon puts the wet sponge to work. Because O'Hare again is following up, back once more for Hinton and again a difficult looking cross, Hector right in there, Kevin Hector! But it's been disallowed, disallowed! Instead of being two goals up, remain one goal up, and causing men to worry all the time. Britain a little touch forward for Osgood. And he's got it through, and he has! Yes, Peter Osgood! Peter Osgood the scorer when there seemed no chance at all of a goal. He turned and he curled it just wide of the Derby defence and just inside that far post. Truly brilliant goal from Peter Osgood. Bobbing into that little situation there. And onside, the linesman has kept his flag down. Now here's a chance for Roger Davis. He's gone past. Oh, and what a miss! That unquestionably is the miss of the season. The miss of the season for poor Roger Davis. All he had to do is what I suppose 99% of the ground did John Phillips. And then one little tap would have been enough, and that almost certainly...